We started in the beginning um, with our essential workers child care program that um, a lot of the health care providers had asked us to provide because they were having to work 24-7 and had nowhere for their kids to go. This is impacting a lot of single parents. They have to go to work. They, have, they don't have another spouse who maybe can work from home and, and take care of their kids. So this funding helped support that program. We've been offering childcare and other programs for children for 150 years now. And so we're good at what we do. Parents are so grateful. And when we had the funding, they were just so relieved. And I think some of them were at the point of breaking. And when they learned about the Y program, the stress, you could tell the stress was relieved from, from them. The Essential Workers Program. And we looked into it and it was a godsend. We couldn't even believe it. It was available to us and it just took so much stress off our family. It really did. And we got in right away. We've been in since the beginning. It's wonderful. During school, families had a place for their kids to go while they're at work. And we were able to monitor them on the computer so that they don't miss their classes and help them with their tech support. And the funding also helped with equipment that we needed to upgrade our Wi-Fi so that we could do the learning centers. The staff that's taking care of that group of children will have their class schedule. So they make sure that each student is signing in when they need to and when they have their lunch break, you know, that they take their lunch break and then they go back to class. They're small groups, so they're able to monitor that small group and there's several groups that each staff person is responsible for. Not to say that it isn't hectic at times and trying to keep, you know, kids masks on at all, all times and, you know, monitor their energy level. You know, but when school's out, then after school, they have physical activities that they get to do at the Y too. They love the Y, they love the staff, they love coming and spending time with their friends. We felt really comfortable about what the kids were doing and how they were being taken care of and the safety precautions and everything like that. It was hard for us as parents because we weren't home, so we weren't able to be a part of the everyday learning process. But the staff was really good about keeping in touch with us, giving us emails or texts. We could, we could text them back and forth too to know what was going on. It really helped our kids because they're little, so they need support with, you know, figuring out how to do what but jump on this meeting at this time, reminders about <laughs> paying attention and, <laughs> yeah. and participation and things like that. So it's been, it was really good for them. And they made a lot of friends and, and really great relationships with the leaders here as well. The distant learning that is going on with the YMCA program is definitely, definitely successful. And I, I feel like it's a good thing that shouldn't stop, that shouldn't go away that should always be a service that's provided to our kids. I think the best part of it uh, as a family is that because here at the Y, they, they handle his schooling, his homework, uh, you know, every aspect of his life up until he gets home. When he gets home, he has nothing to do for school. He has nothing else, so we can be a family. We've heard from parents who have had to work from home and trying to manage their kids, especially if they have more than one child doing distance learning and trying to keep up with their job and do an, a Zoom meeting while their child is needing to sign into school. You know, it's been really hard for them. The cost of providing a program during COVID, all the protocols that we have to follow, it's doubled the cost of our programs. The staff to child ratio is lower. We also need to social distance, so we need more space. So we're renting space, the cleaning supplies, the PPE, all of that, that I know other businesses are also dealing with. But when you're taking care of children, you really wanna be safe and we're following the CDC guidelines. The learning centers were something new for us, and it's something that we can offer in the future. You know, now we're set up, we have the Wi-Fi ready, we have, you know, the equipment that we need. I think it's enhanced our day camp programs too. As long as this goes on, we'll be able to do it.